next. Okay, so we're chasing our sunset and we're doing that through watercolors. Yay. Um, so yeah. Karen, I want to talk to you about like the customer acquisition process. Um, like I said, you don't have to give me the whole investor pitch version. Um, and we can orient this around this actual flow chart in any way. Actually, if you'd like, I think what I'll do is give you um, screen control so that you can type in there too if, if you're able to. Oh, do I'm using my phone. Okay, that's fine. No worries. Then just yeah. tell me where, what to put where, and I don't mind doing that at all. Um, yeah. But I wanted to cover that with you so I have a better understanding of what's happening on the logistics side. Um, you were talking about customer reviews and things that they want to improve upon. Oh, yeah. And um, I would love to know like some of the numbers as well, if you don't mind sharing, like how many customers, what's like the month over month. I know that you've been sort of putting this on the back burner. So if there's not- I feel I haven't sell it yet. It's just in the warehouse. Oh, okay, perfect. So that's good to know. Um, yeah, so anything you feel like is relevant to share, I will um, go like ahead. Like the, the problem specific to me, yeah. Yeah, well, this is just the, um, honestly, it just says problem. <laughs> so we don't know. Oh, how. okay. Like it's yeah, so I think one of the problems there is, like, it's like a 1.5-year-old stock. So it's not its best quality right now. But it will be much better if it's, like, you know, they like produce. What to do, actually, is let's make the right side problems. Uh, okay, yeah. And then... Um, or what we could do is we could do problem, 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 and then solution, 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 solution. Oh, yeah, sure. So we're, yeah. Not, we're, we're solution oriented thinking, right? Yeah. Um, so let's do problem. Oops. Instead of product. Yeah. So you said one and a half year old stock. Yeah. Okay. Um, other problems? Uh, so I put there an insert card which says that if you if you buy that product from Amazon and you paid for it, you get like one additional product free if you give me the shipping address. So it's like a buy one, take one offer, insert card. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a problem though. Because that, because that will help me like liquidate my in, my current inventory so that I can replenish with new ones. Okay, yeah, so I see that as a solution. So uh, yeah, yeah. insert card. And we'll just say liquidate. Um, you just said the word and now I'm blinking on it. Liquidate current stock. Yeah, current stock so that we can replenish it with like newly manufactured pens. Perfect. All right. Um, any other problems? Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't, my current stock doesn't have like individual pen names. Yeah, because it's also one of the things that the customers like and it and the leading competitors also has like names. But yeah. Okay, yeah. So um what we could do is as a solution for that, come up with cute names and then include that on the packaging. Where uh, actually it's all it already has the names on the packaging, but on the oh. pens itself, like Customers uh, won't have uh, customers will have difficulty identifying which color shown in the in the packaging is re referring to the actual pens. So they need to do swatches and label the pen on their own. I see. So the setup will be much more difficult as compared to the leading brands, which already have like the color names printed directly on the pen barrels. I understand. Okay. So what do you feel as though could be a potential solution for that problem with what well, with what we existingly have? Maybe not, but um, obvious solution would be next product suite, include that, right? Is there uh, yeah, like negotiate with the supplier. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And next, any other problems? Oh, uh, okay. The other one is like, although when you see it in person, it's like looks really premium, but when you see it in Amazon, it looks like the same with the other brands because mm. it's like a black, black barrel. So, yeah, so that's one of the, it doesn't look different 
the only thing different on it when you see it online is its packaging. Right. So that's why I was thinking um, that oops, what we were talking about earlier with like the ball of yarn example and having mm -hmm. it like a yeah. full encompassing look, I think that will solve that very easily. And uh, yeah. I, I want to, yeah. as you're talking about that, I'll show you a couple of um, examples of like, for example, this wouldn't be a technically a video, but I just want to show you like some of the things I have experience with um, in terms of designing products, like in the Etsy shop, I just did something yesterday um that like for example you want to like have something that sort of like sets it apart and really oh, yeah you like um, the customers who view it or browse it will want to click on it because they're curious that, what it is because it really stands out from the crowd yeah and and with that as well like making this is more along the lines of what i was even talking about with the video but it again mm -hmm. would be totally different because we're talking about package design instead of like yeah selling a like an experience but this is like what I have with the um some of the like down digital download game activities for earth school mm -hmm. you know it's like yay like woohoo and then you see the art in the background um and then we've got like you know this claymation and all that stuff is like a video that shows up nice. on all of the different products when you open the Etsy, like you'll mm -hmm. see, um, oh, I was trying to search fur on the, um, okay. <laughs> for the, for the close up uh, now, for the cats. Yeah. Now it's showing up on my Etsy. That's hilarious. Um, anyway, I'm not going to pull up the whole Etsy shop, but you can see that on your, like on your own, if you want to look at that and you'll see like all of the products have that video attached so like differentiating it through like mm -hmm. more an experience I think is the best way to go about that. yeah yeah like because I believe that the customers will buy the products that like really resonate with them that captures their emotions instead oh. of like throwing it in their face that hey here's the water brush buy it <laughs> we have a lot of reviews or something like that so I'm catering to customers who like wants to buy products who are in line with them like who really like knows them absolutely yeah no it's so true it's such a good point and um especially with all of the people in your network to be able to get it in front of the right people technically speaking um using the platform you know what i mean having the yeah having the right creative is what's going to help it convert even more. So that's good. Um, yeah. And then um, last problem or uh, next, if there's more than that. Uh, last problem. The insurance from Amazon for art materials are very high. Really? Like last time I checked, like I have an Amazon colleague. I, I, I know someone who sells arts in amazon and she, the quote that she had for the insurance for the year is ten thousand us dollars but mm -hmm. you only need to pay it if you have a sale of at least ten thousand per month okay yeah. yeah so that probably adds um or that probably evens out but still that is pretty high um yeah so then what's the solution that we have for that do we have one that does? Uh, get it from the profit. Okay, yeah. Allocate budget. Um, okay, perfect. Um, I love that. Uh, I have another problem. Sure. Uh, per per my recent, uh, per me watching the videos of the sourcing in my other, yeah, in my Amazon network. They said that because we will be changing the color of the pen. Mm -hmm. Plus there will be some changes. So they might need some plastic mold. And usually plastic molds are kind of high. Like it's expensive to create. Mm. Yeah. But the solution I'm thinking there is maybe get it from the profit from the yeah, yeah, from the other, 
yeah. or another so before changing the because the color is a long term is a long term solution like changing the color of the pen yeah it will be a long term solution like we can do that or we can prioritize like setting a budget so for example for the profit from the current stock we can we can do like a sinking fund from the profit so that we have like enough enough money already to pay for the plastic molding for the next batch so that we can do it the, during the next inventory yeah that and then also um something that could be done would be like formulating a partnership with the plastic molding company oh okay because for my experience everything is about relationship right oh, um okay so whether it was through this product or another connection or um another thing that they need like there's a way you could provide value to them through what you do already um in exchange for a better deal or a partnership or even a free agreement um so i don't know any people i don't personally have any of those people in my network um at this point in time but that would be a way to also circumvent that problem or solve it because at the end of the day every business is a relationship mm, yeah and it's about negotiating so that it's a win-win Yeah, exactly. for both parties yeah because the reason why uh also another one is my current manufacturer they're kind of strict with the moq like if they want me to to create like uh, if they want to create an individual pen names it needs to have at least five thousand so maybe i need to do some further negotiating with them because i can tell them like because my pen don't have individual pen names i'm i had difficulty selling it and because of that my order for them for the next batch like got really delayed so they need to help me like differentiate my products so that I can buy from them more often because I believe their quality is really good Yeah. Okay. Um, that's a really good point. Okay, beautiful. Um, anything else you'd like to include as we're here? uh, the other thing is really about my that's it, my blockage because sometimes I self-sabotage yeah but I think that's not really the product and I'm, I'm, I'm currently working on it due to my constant inner work because my inner work is continuing It's not necessarily on the topic, right? But maybe there's a way that we can incorporate that in the brand message. Maybe yeah that's because possible. sometimes i feel like things are too good to be true <laughs> yeah Yeah, it makes sometimes sense. i feel like that, that sometimes i don't feel worthy that certain things are coming my way like good things are coming my way yeah Mm -hmm. Well, I know that and there's that's why my at subconscious all. mind is self-sabotaging me not to move forward <laughs> so that's what my subconscious mind has been doing to me like for the past one year I know it's going to cut off, but I just want to say that what Alexis always says is, girl, it gets to be good and just get better and better and better and better. yeah yes I'm glad I, I'm in that community So. yeah, because I'm now like braver to take any risk and that I believe that my future self can handle those future problems so what I need to do is just 